Well, everybody, I can't believe I did it. I spent over $1,000 on nearly 14,000 Lego pieces. I'm gonna show you that order in one moment. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Lego Room vlog. Jordan here. Today we're gonna be doing a few different things. Well, we're gonna be unboxing my largest brick link order that I've ever placed. That's gonna be super exciting. I've still gotta go pick that up from the post office. Another exciting thing that we're gonna be doing today is actually placing the new Lego Back to the Future DeLorean time machine on the shelves with the other Lego Creator Expert vehicles. You're probably wondering, why are you sitting on your staircase? I know, it's a beautiful staircase. It's got paint splatters and the whole nine yards. It looks really good, eh? Well, we're gonna miss it and we can cut, kiss this uh, beautiful staircase goodbye because we're installing a ladder. No, I'm just kidding. We're not installing a ladder. We're installing a slide. No, I'm just kidding. We're not installing a slide. Although a slide would be pretty cool. A party slide coming down here? No, but we're actually going to be uh, installing flooring on the staircase. You know what? This is a pretty famous staircase. Some of my videos are me running down the stairs, like the short videos that I produce for other social media platforms have upwards of 20 million views. So it's a famous staircase. And we're going to say goodbye to its paint splatters because we finally are getting around to installing flooring on it, putting some nice nosing on it, and getting it all cleaned up. In addition to unboxing my, the largest order that I've ever placed on BrickLink, placing the DeLorean, fixing the stairs, we're also going to unbox a couple orders over there. So let's have a look at those. Don't worry, that's not the DeLorean's new home. But boy, oh boy, does it ever look good there. I think I'm going to keep it in this design right here. This is the DeLorean from Back to the Future 1, or the first Back to the Future movie. Oh, it's such a good Lego set coming out on April 1st. I'm absolutely fired up on it. But check out these boxes right here. This isn't the massive haul with nearly 14,000 pieces. These are the pieces that we got from the brick bin the other day, and these are two Lego PAB orders that just arrived. So let's take a look at everything in here, and actually we're gonna finish up another project because there's some important pieces in one of these boxes here. So let's start with this box right here. What's in this box? Well, this is the order that we uh, picked up from the brick bin the other day. It's 18 pick-a-brick cups, mostly two by two brick in there. There's also some exciting pieces uh, like green plates and stuff like that. And one other piece that I forgot to mention when I bought all this from the brick bin. I'll show you that. But first thing we better do is uh, sort this box out. Who's ready for the big dump? I am. Oh yeah, that went, that went super smoothly. As you can see, we bought 18 pick-a-brick cups from the brick bin, and that is a lot of Lego right there. That's crazy. Like I said, most of this is two by two brick, but there's also some plates in white and also in green. And look at this, I bought a bunch of these. These were in their pick-a-brick selection. These are minifig stands. I thought that was a really good piece because it's gonna help us organize our minifigs in front of their uh, sets and also display them just like this here. They just do a really good job of obviously displaying minifigs and I ran out of them not too long ago so we're missing a bunch of stands for a bunch of minifigures all throughout the Lego room. I like those because obviously your minifigures don't fall over when you accidentally bump into a shelf. So with the addition of all of those stands I'm going to be able to build some better displays here and also some more consistent displays for all of the minifigures in front of their sets. They'll no longer have to go for a ride on top of their TIE Fighter. Yeah, or be all misaligned in front of their TIE Fighter. It's going to be good. It's actually crazy to see how many pieces are on this table. It looks a lot bigger when it's out of the box, doesn't it? Okay, we're going to fill up our 2x2 brick bin here. So I guess the first thing that we're going to do is go through and remove all of the green plate and isolate all the green plate because it sort of sticks out like a sore thumb, right? And then I guess the next thing we'll do after that is probably go through and remove all of the white plate. That just sort of makes sense. And then hopefully once all the plates are removed, including the minifig stands, I can just brush all of this two by two brick into the big two by two brick bin. I just think that's probably the best way of sorting it. First off, go through and pick out everything that's not two by two brick. So as we're funneling the bricks into the bin at this particular point in time, we have filled an entire bin and it's time to grab another one. Whoo, 
so definitely not a bad haul of two by two bricks. That is a lot. That should be enough to complete our projects, I think. I don't think I grabbed enough of these though. Oh, that's that's not one of them. But I don't think I grabbed enough minifig stands. There were more of them. I was a bit light on those. I should have grabbed more because I think having these pieces is just massive. I think we'll be able to build some really cool minifig displays in front of their sets with those. So I'll have to get more of those next time I'm there. Also, we got the green plate for the Mills projects and some white plate. We just needed more white plate once again. I think I was distracted by the fact that I needed two by two brick and I want a little bit light on the white plate. But either way, there is our first bin unboxed and sorted. Actually, our green plate bin is looking pretty healthy right now. However, it's still not enough, I don't think. Because this is a big Lego city and we need lots of green plate to convert everything here to mills. Like that's for sure, especially when you factor in the far area over here with the campground and eventually us wanting to do the medieval scene in Mills as well. That's a lot of green plate that we're gonna need. Let's pause it with the parts and let's go place the DeLorean. All right, I know, I know. This version of the DeLorean can't fly and I've got the wrong license plate on it. Uh-oh, it should be out of time. Where are we gonna place it? Should we just do the easy thing and put it right here below the Ecto-1? Or should we put it with the other LEGO Creator Expert vehicles? The only pop culture related one on this shelf is the James Bond Aston Martin. And over here we have the Batman shelf, but we're not going to put it with the Batmobile. That doesn't really make any sense. I honestly think that we're going to go with the easy solution here. And it's going to go right here. I just think that's easy. There's space for it there. Uh, and I think it's the best fit, just right below this one here, the uh, Ecto-1. Sort of matches the vibe of the other ones, where they one faces this way and the other one faces this way. Let's do that. So I sort of dig that. Of course, I put the specifications plaque, Marty McFly and Doc Brown beside it, and then all of the additional accessories to convert it into the second or third version of the DeLorean, I actually put right behind it. So that way, if I want to switch it up, I can just very easily switch it up because everything's there. Unfortunately, the shelf didn't have enough clearance for the lightning rod. And then also I put the accessories of the hoverboard and the plutonium inside the front hood where you can stash it away. Now, one thing I could do if I wanted is actually I could just take this shelf and put it up here and put this shelf with the, uh, with the Ecto-1, sorry, down here. That should give us some additional clearance. I think it's a little bit taller. I don't think my eyes are deceiving me there but then we could have the lightning rod on the back of it. I know, Buzz Lightyear doesn't really match, but hey, it's pretty cool. Lord is Tron, but hey, those are cool sets. Look at that, that looks good, right beside the typewriter. We're going back in time to the era of typewriters. That's where it's gonna go for now. How would you display yours? What version of the DeLorean would you display? First, second, or third version? And what do you think of the display? Okay, so this order here came from Lego directly, and it has everything you need for art. Well, not everything, but it has these large 16 by 16 plates, so you can create art. These are the Lego art sets, right? This is what they use. They use nine of these per Lego art set. So we've got a whole bunch of them here. You can actually order them directly from Lego. So if you have an, a, a bunch of additional pieces from the art sets or having you know, they, they all come with additional pieces, and especially if you build the large one, you're going to have a bunch of extras. You can look up custom designs on Rebrickable or come up with your own design, and then you can order these plates here from LEGO directly, and it's going to save you the cost of having to buy another set. So we got a whole bunch of those plates there, and then we also got some studs that we need. I know we have a whole bunch of studs, but apparently we needed more. We got some brown ones there. We got some yellow ones, yes. We're gonna finish the Brixie art in this video right after this. And then we got some white ones. And oh, what's this? We got some green windows, it looks like, and also a green door. Jose must be building something. I don't know what that's for. I can't place it off the top of my head. And then we got some dark tan studs as well. Let's use those yellow studs and finish the Brixie art. And there it is there, just needs some yellow studs. He looks a bit odd, but you're getting there, buddy. And you're gonna be finished today. I'm talking to myself. Hey, look at that, we've got 18 of those. So enough to do two art pieces this size. It's 
So yeah, this is the Brixie art. We've been working on it for quite some time. Just rounding up the yellow studs. We ordered these yellow studs so long ago from Bricks and Pieces, so I'm glad they showed up today so we could finally get this done. It's a good feeling, that's for sure. Uh, this was actually made by Tanjam. It was designed by them. And thank you, man. It looks awesome. Look at that. I got myself being made in the Lego room. That's so cool. Uh, Tanjam actually has created a whole whack of different art pieces, and he's going to have a couple on display at Brickworld Chicago. That's right. He's got his own table. So if you're going to Chicago, make sure you check out his table. He's got a new art project that he's working on, and he's going to reveal it there. At last, we have the Brixie art done. Yes, <laughs> it looks awesome. That is hilarious. What is that doing there? Oh my gosh, we've got to pluck that out. Okay, now that we've got that done, let's check out this order here. I don't even know which one this is. And with a swift cut of the blade there, here we go. Ooh, oh, ah, tree limbs. We're gonna be able to create some more trees. Good, good, good. Ah, more one by one black tiles for the ballast train track that we no longer have. You can tell how long ago we ordered that. Ah, one day we're going to finish balancing our track for the under table area, but that's a long ways away, so... Whoop -de -doo. Oh, look at this! Ah, gray tile. Nice. Looks like quite a bit. Oh, -ho, even more gray tile. That looks like 999 of them. Beauty. Gotta love that. Hey, more trees, more spruce trees. Nice. Can never have enough of these little mini trees. I like these little mini trees. It's one of my favorite Lego pieces. And then we've got a bag of large limbs for making more deciduous trees. So trees and tiles. There we go. Perfect. That's a good order. So of course those uh, limbs can be used to create trees like this here in the amusement park. You'll see those styles of trees all over the Lego city. And Jose and I actually want to change some of our trees on the sidewalks in the city. We used to use the little tiny ones. I don't know if I have any around here, for example. Oh yeah, these ones are here. We used to use the small ones that were built using cylinders, but we want to change them to the larger ones using the two by two bricks. They're just fuller, larger, and they take up more space. So when we get the Lego city to a detail phase, we're going to put our old school bushes that, that used to be in the Lego city on the sidewalks. And we're also going to use some of those larger trees, we think. And we got more of those tiles so that we can switch up the tiles on all of our modular buildings. We have elected to do all gray sidewalks now, that being light gray. You can see we did it for one of our modulars just right there. And eventually we plan on doing it all. I know it's a lot of sidewalk, but once we put trees and bushes and minifigures and stuff like that all throughout the Lego city, it won't look that big. But I think if it's all gray, I think it's gonna look a little bit more realistic. And when we make that change, the parts that are light gray will have to switch to dark gray. So it's gonna be quite the project. But we're up for it, that's for sure. So there's our uh, orders unboxed and our DeLorean placed and our Brixie art finished up. Let's go to the post office, pick up the next order and I'll show you the largest BrickLink order that I have ever purchased. That is nearly 14,000 LIGO pieces. All right, everybody, so here we go. This is our largest BrickLink order ever. It's massive. This box is super heavy. 14.1 kilograms, 2.2 pounds per kilogram, so about 31 pounds, roughly, I would say. Yeah, massive. Uh, this thing here has uh, 13,672 pieces within and it cost us $1,026.40 Canadian. Plus there was about $60 freight, or sorry, uh, duty roughly. Uh, so it's about $1,090. Did I overdo it? Potentially. <laughs> Will all of these pieces come in handy? Yes. And were they a good deal? Yes, they were. That's why I, why I went all in. And I, I just knew that shipping from Croatia, that's where this box came from, would be expensive no matter how many pieces I ordered. So we went all in and got, uh, I can't even curl it, a uh, 30 pound box. Oh my gosh. So this is from Cocasto, I believe the name is. K-O, 
C-K-A-S-T-O, and that is the name of the Bricklink seller. This thing has more tape on it than I know what to do with. Clearly making sure it is safe, which I like. I appreciate all the tape, good sir. All right, well, let's cut it open. <laughs> Oh my gosh, almost 14,000 pieces. I better have a sip of coffee. Actually, you know what? I want to tell you this about a story too. I went and picked this up yesterday. No, my wife went and picked it up. She used a shopping cart because it was that heavy. Mm. But I was the day that I was telling you that I was going to go pick it up was actually Sunday. And the post there's no post on Sunday, right? So I decided, oh, I'm going to go get it tomorrow, which is Monday. And I woke up with a flu, like a stomach bug or something, and I was like paralyzed yesterday. Like it was like a 24 hour flu. I was like absolutely paralyzed. I'm still not 100% today, but let me tell you, yesterday I could, I slept for 18 hours. I couldn't even, I couldn't even keep my eyes open. I couldn't even, like I was like weak. Oh my gosh. I had this, I, did, I didn't touch LIGO. I didn't touch a video camera. And I did not even open up this parcel. And here I am, <laughs> getting ready to open it now with you. Funny story, eh? But you should see the flooring. It's coming along nicely. Uh, the handyman that I have uh, here helping me do that is absolutely fantastic. He's killing it. So I'll show you the flooring too. This video, right? Oh my gosh. This is like a ridiculous amount of Lego though. Like this is insanity, okay? Like this is... This is off the deep end crazy. <laughs> I am an absolute madman for buying this. But this is all going to go toward our mills plates. Oh yes. Ten. Four by four plate. Seven hundred and nine. Ten four by four plates. All brand new. <laughs> yes. Then here, check it out. Green. Four by four plate. Not one bag of it, but get this, two bags of it. And that is 912 green four by four plates. Oh my gosh, these come like sealed in Lego boxes. This Bricklink seller must have a hookup or something because it was like really cheap. Look at this, way cheaper than ordering it from Lego directly. Oh, <laughs> look at these, these are like in, official Lego boxes. These are super heavy, man. 2,000 pieces. Oh, it just says limb element. So these are in, in Lego boxes, but they're not actually what they are. But this is 2,000 pieces in these three boxes, in Lego boxes. Like, I, I just feel like that's so cool. And what are they, do you ask? They are four by six plate, how does, look at that. They're sealed just beautifully. They're like in bricks. <laughs> 2000 dark bluish gray, four by six plate. That's gonna create a lot of mill splits for us. Now, why do we need so much plate? I just said it, <laughs> mill splits for the rest of the city. This should be able to accommodate everything. I've done some math here. So four by six plate, uh, you need 42 pieces per 32 by 32 plate. And uh, four by four plate, you need 64 pieces per 32 by 32 plate. So as you can imagine, with all of this plate, we're gonna be able to do a lot of mills plating. Also, one more thing, check this out. <laughs> Who's ready for this? 10 thousand one by two trans blue tile <laughs> ten thousand that is insane <laughs> i am a madman but now you can see why this cost about eleven hundred dollars shipped and landed all paid for here to canada not bad, 14,000 pieces. We, you price that out on Lego. Uh, like if you price that out on Lego BAP, that's 2,000 four by six dark bluish gray plate, 
912 4x4 green plate, 709 4x4 tan plate, and 10,000 trans blue tiles. It's going to be a lot more expensive for Blango. So that's why we went all in. Now we're going to be able to detail all our water. We're going to be able to make all our park plates. We're going to be able to mills plate our entire beach area. And we're going to be able to mills plate the remainder of the residential area and um, zoo and stuff like that using all of this plate. It's going to be insanity. It's going to be awesome. This, this order was just crazy. I, I've always wanted to do something like this. Here we are. <laughs> all in one shot. We got her done. Isn't that awesome? I'm fired up. <laughs> that's the biggest sprinkling quarter we have ever placed. Holy cow. That's crazy, hey? 31 pounds of Lego. Nice. So now that we've got that unboxed, I want to share one more fact with you about the uh, trans blue 1x2 tiles. Uh, so yeah, you need 512 of these per plate to tile it completely. Sort of like Ninjago, right? So 10,000 will only do 19 plates, but that there is gonna be used for putting detail on our water. We've sort of done that with the ocean over here. Oh, I've left the lights off, but yeah, we've sort of done that with the ocean over here, uh, but we actually used a variety of a whole bunch of different stuff. You can see that, oops, right there. So our intent with that is to tile off the entire water over there and also all of this water over here. And then if we ever put any more water in the Lego City, of course, we'll make it look like that as well. Now we need to decide whether or not we want to peel all of this off. Well, I guess we will be when we convert it to mills, right? For sure. We've got to decide if we want to peel all of this off and use a combination of studs and plates and tiles. But obviously the majority would be tiles. We also need to decide if we're going to use a variety of color. But honestly, those there like from the Brickling seller, we're like three cents each Canadian. So it's super duper cheap. I mean, I guess that's still $300, but if you order tiles, you know that tiles aren't cheap. Uh, I think ordering these from, from Bricks and Pieces or from, from Pab, I think they're eight cents each. Could be wrong, they might be nine cents, but I think they're eight or nine cents each. So to get them for three cents each was pretty good. So we've got that unboxed now. We got those other orders in box, right? We got the bricks yard done and we uh, placed the DeLorean. You know what else we got to take a look at? The new and improved stairs. So let's do that. So they're not 100% complete yet. We've still got this heater going here. That's helping the peel and stick flooring dry and stick to the wooden staircase. And we're also still doing some caulking as well. But check it out. Here we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look better? That is amazing. So we use the same flooring as that we have in the basement. It's just the cheap peel and stick flooring. We went with the cheap stuff just because our entire basement is pretty much covered by shelving and also by um, tables, right? So we didn't want to get the high-end flooring. So we had this new handyman that helped us with this. You can see he did some patching there and he also put the nosing on and also put some white board right here. Along that seam there where the flooring meets the board, he did some caulking. Also right here, you can see we've run some caulking along that board as well, just to sort of fill in that gap. And we're also going to caulk this as well along the side, we think, just because there's this ugly gap right here, because I guess this house was slapped together pretty quickly and there's some gaps between, you know, the actual staircase and the wall all the way along. So we're going to caulk that sort of a similar color of the nosing. I think that'll look pretty good in the end there. But yeah, this is it. It's pretty much almost done. Just waiting for this to dry out a bit more. And then we're gonna finish the caulking. And that's the new and improved staircase. I love the white board for the back. It looks real clean. It looks real nice. Eventually we might still do that Lego idea because we can still fit two by brick under here. Let's see. And you can potentially back the stairs with Lego. I don't know though, it's going to take a lot of Lego. It would look pretty cool though. It does look pretty clean though when it's just the white because it matches the wall color. But it would look pretty neat if it was like Lego like that too, right? 
for sure it would. <laughs> Not too bad though, pretty exciting day, getting lots of stuff accomplished here and getting lots of parts so that we can accomplish more stuff. So that's really about it for today. Just wanted to uh, share the excitement with you as we unbox the world's largest bricklink order. Just kidding. It's not the world's largest bricklink order, but it's the biggest bricklink order that we've ever placed. Crazy, got the stairs done and yeah, now we're getting ready to continue working on the Lego city. It's gonna be good. So everybody, thank you so much for coming on by and remember like, subscribe and stay tuned for some more great stuff and farewell, bye-bye.